Once you graduate junior high and hit high school, you join another crew, the 29 crew. Do you drop UCLA to join the 29 crew? How does that come about? So no, no, I definitely didn't drop UCLA. Uh, simply, so I got to, I started going to Fairfax in summer school in the ninth grade into the 10th grade because I failed algebra and I wanted to like be at least uh, the right speed. And in my class, there were some kids from the 2-9 crew that were weed smoke or raver kids that I'd seen at raves. So naturally after class, I'm like, what's up? You guys want to smoke weed? And they became like the smoker homies. And then on the weekends, I'd see them at the raves. So we kind of just started hanging out. And since none of the UCLA guys had gotten to Fairfax high yet, and I kicked it with these guys basically every day, by the time I actually got, yeah, by the end of the summer school, by the time like summer school was ending, they're like, hey, you should get in the crew. You know, so by the time school started in the 10th grade, I was already from a crew that was there. And it was dudes like Iodex, Skew, Pasic, Pester, Bio, rest in peace. He was a good dude, Fernando Lozano, man. He was like, kind of like a big brother because he was a grade older than me and he was from Mexico City too. And we, we were like this, but unfortunately, you know, he was a, a victim of gang violence as well. He got shot in the face by a gangster for just no reason, basically, you know. Do you know the history of the 29 crew? Who started it? And in what part of Los Angeles did well, it come from? So what I remember is that Pasek was the main head. I'm assuming he started it. I never actually asked him if he started it or not. And even though he was from Rosemead, everybody was bussed into my high school. And so I'd say it was a Hollywood crew. And originally they were clicked up with another crew called LK, which was the Line Killers, which was also, they're from Hollywood High. And they were known for bus, like bus crew, that Line Killer, you know, they would just write LK, LK, LK. And it was LK29C for many, I don't know, for a couple years. And I don't know what the schism was, but they, they separated. They were no longer the same crew. And... Uh, 29C, if I'm not mistaken, used to be 295, which was like an abbreviation for the police code at the time for scribing on buses or vandalizing buses. Just like uh, 594 is the regular police code for vandalism. Uh, and that's where the name came from. They just dropped the five and turned it into a C and it became the 29 crew. At some point, you take over the 29 crew's leadership. Can you talk about how that comes about? Um, good questions, by the way. Um, yeah, so basically, like I said, uh, the 29 c guys were a few years older than me, and uh, a couple of them had gotten arrested, and they kind of faded out of graffiti, and because they were all bussed into Hollywood for school, we were pretty tight, but as everybody graduated, as each generation that was older was graduating, like people were going back to the side of town we were on, and so we didn't really have as much of a reason to come together as frequently, and... Um, Basically, I was kind of left, I don't want to say high and dry, but I was left as the elder guy from the crew that was, you know, because we had put on people in my grade, and by that point, a couple of people from a grade before mine, I asked some of the dudes, I'm like, hey, like, what's up with you guys? And they're like, we're kind of just all going to quit writing graffiti for the most part, for the most part. Uh, Blake was the one dude that kept it running, him and his brother, Rec. And they kind of, they kept the South Central chapter alive and that crew 29C is still going on now because they kept it alive and they kept putting people on. And I still see them up when I drive around town because of Blake and Rec that have been running it the whole time. Rec was also one of the OG guys, him and his brother that were at Fairfax High that I linked up with. And basically, except for them two, and I, I didn't lose contact with them so much, like I still con talked to them, but they were not as active in the graffiti. They had kind of slowed down. A lot of people slowed down. It was like transition. Graffiti was becoming less popular. And for me, I still loved it. And since I still had homies at school that were like active writers and all that, I'm like, yo, you should be from the crew. You should be from the crew. I feel like we had to keep that legacy going strong because it was a cool dynamic crew. We didn't fit in, you know, we were talking about how it was like a gangster vibe and things were had more of an edge. Well, the 29C kids at the time were like freaky raver kids that didn't dress normal. They all did fucking LSD. They all went to raves. They were all skaters. They were like the freaky kids, you know? And I felt like there was still like a real artsy, different vibe about certain kids at the school that suited that energy. So it just felt natural to keep it going.